will mark 10 years since Kyron Horman vanished from his Northwest Portland school. And tonight, a documentary on his case airs on the Investigation Discovery Channel. And our own Dan Tolkien is in the documentary as one of the experts the filmmakers relied on to follow all the evidence, Dan. Yeah, I was there from the beginning of Kyron's case back on June 4th, 2010. I was the first reporter to confront Kyron's stepmother, Terry Horman, who's been named a suspect by her own lawyer. A decade later, Investigation Discovery takes a look at the twists and turns of Kyron's unsolved disappearance. There's just tons of TV cameras and newspaper reporters and radio reporters. Place is just jammed. Police bring the family members in. The Investigation Discovery documentary takes viewers back to the first time the public saw Kyron's mother, Desiree Young, and Terry Horman together, not long after Kyron disappeared on June 4th. 2010. I am about ready to just become a puddle and throw up and scream all at the same time because of the situation and what's going on. When she leaned on me, I just thought, oh dear, my strength is being tested right now because this is just horrible. I was already convinced that Terry was involved. The documentary takes viewers through Desiree's decade of not knowing and evidence against Terry Horman, who has denied any involvement. Investigators then uncover private emails Terry sent to a friend shortly before Kyron's disappearance. While they keep the information from the public, they share this alarming evidence with Tony and Desiree. You can see in her own mind her disdain for Kyron, her resentment, wanting him out of the house. And when you fit that into everything else we knew, that is huge. You see her put in writing how she hates Kyron and wishing that he would just die. Terry is the last known person to see Kyron at Skyline School. If he's still alive, he's now 17. I uh, would have never, ever thought we would be here 10 years later. This week, I talked to Desiree about pushing to keep his case in the public eye through things like the documentary, hoping, hoping for a breakthrough. Every time I sit down and watch a show over um, new footage, old footage, every single time, I say to Tony every year, is this ever going to get easier and it doesn't. So the documentary premieres tonight on Investigation Discovery Channel. It's actually on twice. And look for more of my interview with Desiree next week as we mark 10 years since Kyron vanished. We did reach out to Terry Horman's lawyer and he told us they will not be granting any interviews. Dan, looking forward to watching that tonight. Coin6 News and Coin.com has been covering Kyron's disappearance since the very beginning. And you can read much more about his disappearance, search efforts, uh, video we have from those days, and see past interviews with his parents and investigators. It's all at Coin.com right now.